So here in town, once a year, we have a trash cleanup day. And it's staggered through the city, but what you're allowed to do is put anything you want out onto the street for three days. You have a three-day period, and you can stack anything you want on the street. And then the next following week, uh, they rotate through with trucks, and they take all of your stuff and haul it away. So we had a bunch of stuff in the backyard. We're doing some construction in the backyard, so we ripped that all out, stuck it on the street, and they're just going to haul it away. So it's free. It's great. Well, you pay for it monthly in your uh, trash cleanup charge. You know, they, they add on a few bucks for this thing that we have once a year. Anyway, a lot of people drive up and down streets looking for junk. <laughs> so there's some people who specialize in metal, some people specialize in electronics. Anyways, people, people drive around looking for stuff, right? So recycling aluminum or if there's copper, you know, they, they go find stuff. Some people find stuff that's a lot of people use this to get rid of old furniture and stuff. They don't, they don't think it's worth bothering to sell it, so they just put it on the street. So you can get some reasonable furniture sometimes just picking it up off of the street, especially if you're a poor student. Uh, you know, a lot of people pick it up just to go sell it at the flea market and try to, try to spin it out and uh, make a buck on it. Anyway, so I was walking up and down our street, <laughs> of course, and there was a, uh, a, a, a satellite dish plus the, uh, the feed horn. So this is the feed. And so I thought it would make a good tear down. So I, I, I picked it up. So this one is a, uh, is a, is a direct TV box and it had the, it had the dish with it. And I, I didn't want to grab the dish cause then I'd have to throw it away. So I just, I just pulled off the uh, LNB and, and uh, here it is. So what is an LNB? Uh, you've heard of LNAs, low noise amplifiers. Well, an LNB is one better. <laughs> uh, it's a low noise amplifier plus a mixer. So not only does it, it amplify the incoming signal, that it mixes it down to some intermediary frequency and sends it down the cable. And this is a F-type connector. And a DC signal is set up, sent up the uh, center conductor of the cable too to power this thing, so it requires power on the center conductor. Probably 12 volts or something like that. Anyway, so uh, this little section here is, is a microwave feed horn. All right, I believe this particular unit here is operating around 12 gigahertz. Um, and so the shape of this, of this is a waveguide uh, tuned to exactly the right frequency. And it, you can see it kind of tapers out. So it's, it's like a funnel. It's sucking in, sucking in the radio waves and taking them down to a detector. Um, it has this piece of plastic on the outside that just keeps dirt and insects and stuff out of it. Um, and then a little rain shield here <laughs> uh, to keep things off. So. Yeah, let's see if we can't uh, open this thing, crack this thing open. Um, I don't know where to begin. There's a plastic thing on the back here. I think this is just advertisement. I don't think this does anything. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. I was gonna make crunchy sounds that's probably very, very loud in the uh, microphone. All right, I'll try to knock that down in post-processing. Uh, so here it is. It looks like it's under a can and glued in there, so that'll be fun to try to open up. I'll have to get uh, Neanderthal on it. Okay, so let's see if we can't take this thing off. Uh, let me use my little pliers here. I love, I love these little pliers. I'm always giving little tool tips. Um, I like these pliers. Uh, I didn't want to buy any because I thought they were too expensive. So I asked for uh, ask Santa to bring them one year, and uh, they're made in Germany. They're made by a company called Knips, uh, K N I P E X Knips, and uh, maybe it's Nips. Maybe you don't pronounce the K. I don't know. Uh, looks like vanadium steel, Cobra. Uh, these are the little tiny ones, and just a little push button here, and you can make it any size you want. So we'll make it about yay big, and see if we can't use some lever. Use a fulcrum. All right, give me a fulcrum and I can move the earth. And let's make this a little smaller. Uh, who said that was it Aristotle or Archimedes? Maybe it was Archimedes, probably Archimedes. Man, this thing is probably glued on as well. Let me, let me, let me do this off camera.
Hmm. Whew. That was on there good. <laughs> Uh, so it's, it's interesting, uh, more interesting than I thought. Uh, ooh, it's kind of sticky. It's kind of some kind of glue on it as well. Yuck. All right. So there's three, three feed horns and they're obviously, uh, polarized. I don't know if you can see down in there. Let's see. Got a flashlight here. I don't know if you can see down in there. Uh, but there's a, this one is vertically polarized and the other two look like they're horizontally polarized. So that's very interesting. I didn't, I did not expect that. I, I don't know anything about uh, microwave stuff, especially satellite communications, right? This comes down from satellite, probably up in geosynchronous orbit, um, which is another interesting topic we could talk about someday. All right, uh, we need to get this back off, and I think, uh, I think this little, are these soldered? Why would they put rubber here if it's soldered? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, what about this, what about this funny little dot here? What about that one? Ah. That might be a screw. That might be a screw. It's like archaeology, right? Sometimes I wish I did archaeology and sometimes I think, no, that's absolutely crazy. It's very, 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 very boring most of the time and then way exciting. So I don't know if I can put up with the boredom. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can drill that out and uh, see if I can open this thing up. Okay, that was not easy, <laughs> but I did manage to get it open. So what we see inside are some uh, electronics and it has some interesting material on it. This is a RF shielding. It, it's an absorber. It's an RF absorber. And then it has a bunch of RF conductions, con con conduction pads, so that the sheet on the back made contact with these so that what they wanted to do is they wanted to make sure there was RF contact all the way around this thing. And then there was those three uh, sections that had detectors probably, and it looks like they're tunable with three, three adjustments here. And I believe all of the little uh, connectors here are just to hold it all together. I think those need to come out and then this will come out. And then there's looks like there's some things up there. It looks like they could come out. So yeah, let me just, oh, let me do some work, more work on it and uh, see if I can't get this thing open. Okay, I think I removed enough screws where this thing is loose now. Oh, well, let's take it off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect something this complicated. Look at that. Looks like an automatic transmission. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my goodness. All kinds of goodies in here for us to take a look at. Nice. Good junk find on the street. So yeah, uh, I think. What I need to do is uh, maybe I can remove the boards. Let me try to remove the boards and I'll change lenses and we'll get a nice, uh, a nice up close up look on all those things. A whole bunch of abs RF absorbing pads in this automatic transmission manifold as well. So yeah, <laughs> we'll take a look. All right, got the back off so we can see everything. Uh, yeah, so super, super cool. Um, it seems as though I'm going to have to desolder some things to take it out the rest of the way, but I thought we'd take some close-ups of it uh, put together like this first. And then uh, I'll show you, I think, what I have to remove, and then, uh, and then we'll try to dig in deeper. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go in close. 
all right so we have all kinds of things going on here so obviously we have a a very high frequency board because this one's really fancy and then we have a lower frequency board this one down here uh, this one looks like it might be all digital uh, although there is some there's some RFE type stuff this uh, I think this is an LNA plus uh, it has to convert 12 gigahertz down to about 900 megahertz and so this is probably like 900 megahertz stuff before it goes down the uh, F connector which is uh, which is right here it comes out right there so that's the that's the output right there and then the input is somewhere else which I haven't quite figured out yet it might be here and here I'm not quite sure there's 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 a oops, I'm not pointing the right place there's there's some uh, solder three things here and three things here I need to desolder before this comes out I think I'm going to desolder this board too it's soldered these two boards soldered together so uh like here so I'm going to try to take it all apart yet so but yeah look at the uh look at the goodness of this thing oh my god all kinds of really nice RF stuff in here so somebody knows what they're doing and it's probably what they did their whole life because once you learn this you're in demand so probably bounced around my guess is this guy bounced around from company to company whoever needed the new uh the new whiz bang magic like here's here's really cool bandpass filter here and here uh, all kinds of other filter. this place this thing is chock full of stuff oh my goodness it looks like it's it's duplicated right it looks like the left hand side and the right hand side are duplicates of each other so it might be a dual receiver too for 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 getting rid of any multi-bouncer or phase information and stuff like that so yeah it's probably a diversity antenna or some type i don't know it is way cool though i really like it let me uh, let me let me dig in deeper i think taking it apart will be easier to photograph this thing all right, this thing gets crazier and crazier as I take it apart. So let's do this down here. First is this digital board. I had to I had to desolder three connections here, and three connections here, and then the F connector, and then I could lift this board out. And this board has some stuff on the bottom. It has all of the uh, 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 oscillators. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine oscillators on it. Yes, nine. Uh, and then there's a board underneath. So this was a th going down to this board. This looks like it's the power supply. Looks like there's a switch mode power supply here and some other stuff here. So there's a board underneath. Now, this board gets super, super, super complicated. Okay, the RF comes through these three holes, remember? The three holes? Well, you've lift this board out and there's nothing. And you look at the back of the board, there's nothing. There's no detector diodes anywhere, right? There's nothing. It's just, it's just, it's just flat. <laughs> and so the signal comes in, oops, sorry. The uh, signal comes in through these slots. So these two slots, these two slots, these, so horizontally polarized and vertically polarized. And they shine, the RF energy shines on these bare spots in the PC board, okay? So it maps those, those cavities, those microwave transmission lines, map into these bare spots. Now, what's on the other side of the bare spot? Nothing. <laughs> it's just traces. And so, uh, here's one, here's one, here's one, and here's one. Is that in focus yet? And so, uh, that's like a little stub antenna. And it goes over here to this. And this one goes over here to this. So, these are like little amplifiers. Let's well, a little amplifier here, here. Here and here so it's four so far one two three four and then these two these are the little stubs and these are the little so it's one two three four five six lnas bringing in signals into this thing wow <laughs> wow <laughs> that's totally crazy all right let me uh let me pull this board out and then we'll look at them all nice and i can keep them flat i can keep them in focus okay we'll start with the simple board here first so, like I said, this looks like it's probably just, you know, power in here and power out here or something like that. It looks like a DC to DC converter here. And uh, let's see if I can get any port numbers off here. Uh, yeah, these are counter chips, uh, HC4046s. So um, this might be some kind of clock generator. Oh, there's an ST micro down here. An ST uh, 
STM32 down here. So go, go figure. Wow. So maybe this is just this half of it is power supply in and out. And this over here is some type of digital circuitry, and they just wanted to hide it in there so it wouldn't make any make any noise uh, left in the uh, in the circuit. So that's what I'm going to say. This is that's power supply, uh, that's digital stuff. Wow, wow. Okay, where's the other little board? Oh, okay, here's the other little board. All right, let's take a look at him. What are these parts? Now these parts had this cool. Uh, uh, it looks like it's double, it's sticky, right? So it's stuck on there and it looks, it feels kind of like a weird uh, refrigerator magnet, you know, the kind of rubbery refrigerator magnet stuff. And if you take a, uh, if you take a magnet, okay, so, so here's a magnet. Yeah, it's, it sticks to it, right? So this, this stuff is magnetic. So it, it's made to, to uh, capture RF and kill it. And so, yeah, so that, it, it, that stuff was everywhere. Like every single IC had some of that stuff, little bitty things all everywhere. I mean, just everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, so these are cool. So what are these things? These are entropy, E-N-T-R-O-P-I, entropy. And they are, there's, there's Google on it. They are part number, part number, RF, 520? Maybe there's more. RF 521. 5, 5201. RF 5201. And I'm assuming they're all the same. Wow. Okay, so yeah, some type of three. So we had three holes in the front, right? So I think these are the three processing three different channels. So that's what these three are. And like I said, on the back, lots of uh, lots of oscillators. So probably some of the down conversions done here, and it's probably a lot of it is digital, right? And then it's decoded and then sent down, or it might be like encrypted too. This might be decryption keys and stuff for the uh, uh, for the thing. Wow, We're really really cool, really really cool, uh, cool product. All right. Let's look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think this, we're going to have to put this one under the microscope. This one is, this one is too cool. But I'll give you a, I'll give you a view here. Is that too bright? Uh, I could stop it down maybe a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like I said, we have this cool uh, bandpass filter here and a little inductor here. Another one here, here, here. Uh, even, even a weird little voodoo magic happening here. I've never seen that before. Little stubs, like little, little tiny quarter wave stubs on this thing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, amazing. Now, I don't know what these, I don't know what these blobs here are. I don't know if those are some type of resonant thing. I don't know what those are. Hmm. Uh, the back, there's nothing on the back. It's just uh, flat. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. We got to put we got to put this one under, under the well under the microscope. That might be too far. Let me just rearrange this camera. This lens can focus down quite low. So let me uh, let me rearrange things. Okay, well, let's start in the upper right-hand corner here. Here's that cool little uh, bandpass filter. Um, and we can just kind of run around this thing. I mean, I have no idea what's going on here. This would be the kind of thing that uh, the, uh, what's the name of that channel? Oh gosh, I can't remember the channel. Um, but he knows everything about microwave. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, here's those little stubs. Look at those little stubs. I've never seen that. It's voodoo. <laughs> never seen that. That's just, that's just amazing. That's a part number on there. Uh, and then here's a, here's a Q code. We can look that up. And look at, look at down here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, these are just little works of art. These are cool. Yeah, these are way cool. 
Oh, look at the little, this little squigglies here and there. Oh, that's just fun. So the board interconnect was right here. One, two, three, four, five. So but the board to board was these guys. I had to desolder these. And, and then there's board to board over here too. So there's two channels. Um, or at least two. I don't know. This thing is, this thing is crazy. I like it. So like I said before, the uh, signal comes in to this square here, right? It shines in from the other side and then this little stub picks it up and it goes into this little amplifier here. And then this one goes into this little amplifier here. So those are the two vertical ones. These are the horizontal ones. So this one gets picked up, that amplifier. This one gets picked up with that amplifier. And then over here, the same thing. There's two of them here and amplifier, amplifier. Um, the signal path has it now. The signal. If you haven't watched this channel, it's very, very engineering. Okay, mine's kind of uh, garage shop type stuff, but uh, his is very, very engineering. Uh, you know, PhD level type type stuff, um, and uh, he knows all about this. And he always goes, "Oh, yeah, this is the so and so, and there's the mixer, and it goes down to the, they probably I don't I don't know how, I don't know how much research he does before he starts talking, but he definitely knows this stuff." Um, his lab is full of like multi tens of thousand dollar equipment stuff too, you know. Not gonna find those at the junk shop. Look at these little these little stubs. I love these things. Really, really cool. Oh well. Anyway, uh, we can since I'm under high magnification, we kind of look. We can kind of look at this board here. Let me change the uh, exposure on that one. There we go. Yeah, about there, I guess. Uh, focus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are, these are boring, right? This, <laughs> compared to the other one, this one's like super, super, super boring. It's like, okay, yeah, digital ICs, yeah, okay. Oh, look, a little bit of RF here down there. Anyway, boring, boring, boring. And then all of these, uh, all these oscillators, look at that. Are these, maybe these are, maybe these are mixers. Hmm. I didn't think about that. These could be mixers, I suppose. I don't know. They're either mixers or also maybe these are mixers. Yeah, well, that would make more sense. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that would make more sense. Yeah, I bet you those are mixers. Although they wouldn't be on this board, would they? Oh, well, maybe they're maybe there are a, a secondary mixer. There's probably primary mixers here. The 12 gigahertz stuff's going to be over here. So, uh, you know, there's probably mixing and stuff. Uh, over on this board here somewhere there's probably that's not a mixer but there's probably mixers over here um and then uh that might mix it down to something and then these are might be you know sub channel mixers or something i don't know or maybe they're soft filters that could be too i don't i don't know anyway hope you enjoyed that i did uh very exciting to find things in the uh in the street. <laughs> Find really cool electronics in the street, right? You never know. Go to the junk stores, man. And, you know, go to Home Depot, uh, not Home Depot, go to Goodwill and, uh, and find cool stuff sometimes.